I'm going to be an incredible grandpa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to share the Christmas story with you. And I want to tell you something before I read. Here's what I want you to look, look right here, Pastor Mark. I want you to have the best Christmas ever. I want you to have so much fun. You get all the presents that you've asked for. I hope you have a blast. I hope you get to eat a lot of sweets and treats and stay up late. Just enjoy being with your family. But let me tell you something. I want you to take a moment sometime on Tuesday, because it'll be crazy. Your mom and your dad, they're going to be running around cooking and packing and be so busy with Christmas. Here's what you can do. Why don't you go tug on their shirt and say, hey, let's read the Christmas story. Remind them, because Christmas doesn't need to come and go when you forgot the most wonderful story in all the world. And that's the story of Jesus being born in Bethlehem. And it's found in Luke chapter 2. So I want to read it to you. Everybody look right here. And I'm going to read it as fast as I can because I know you're like antsy and feeling it. But hang in there with me a minute. Luke chapter 2. At the time, at the, time the Roman em Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria all returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee, and he took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was now obviously pregnant. And while they were there, the time came for their, her baby to be born. And she gave birth to her first child, a son, and she wrapped him in snugly strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. And suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will be great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped in snowy strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, now before I read it, this is what happens, guys. Now, there, there's this big announcement that's happening. Jesus is born. They're, they're finding out about it, the shepherds are. And all of heaven. Can you imagine looking up into the heaven, up into the sky one night, and it being filled with angels. Full of angels. And they're about to give some wonderful news. Listen to what the angels said. They said, glory to God in the highest heavens. And peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. And when the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened that the Lord has told us about. So they hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in a manger. And after seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in their heart, in her heart. And thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had said. Here's what I want to tell you about this Christmas. You can tell about your presence. You can tell all about your gifts. You can tell about all the fun that you've had. But during this Christmas, tell somebody about Jesus. It's a wonderful story. The Bible says that they were astonished when they heard this story. And others will be astonished when you tell them how wonderful Jesus is to you. Will you bow your heads, kids? Let's, let's bow our heads for prayer. And I'm going to ask the Lord to help us this Christmas season to remember to make sure we give Him our time, our thoughts, and share His story. Lord, we love you. I thank you for these wonderful kids. I thank you, Lord. They mean so much to me. Thank you for getting the chance to share a few moments with them. And I ask, Lord, that you bless them this Christmas season. I pray, Lord, that you help them to 
remember that you're the greatest story. Your story is the greatest story that's ever been told. That we have a wonderful Savior that we can celebrate. And we want to remember you. When Christmas comes and goes, there'll still be Jesus. We don't have to wait a year to remember you. We can think about you every day. So I pray you bless all of these children this Christmas season. Go before them and follow them all the days of their lives. And place your hand in blessing. Amen. Let's give our kids a pretty big hand. Give our kids. I love you. I love you very much. This is Lord, I love you. Hope you have a great Christmas. You come back to your seats. Parents, make sure you grab them. Okay? Make sure you grab them. Come on, baby. Go this way. Pastor Eric's going to come around and sing. I'll be back in a moment and share today's message. Thank <laughs> you.